Hello, I'm Alex Alderman from the CIP, and thank you for joining us for a very special Tech Tuesday, where this Valentine's Day we're talking about technology we love. And the tech I decided to talk about today is Discord. Um, and if you don't know Discord, it's basically uh, a kind of uh, live uh, streaming software, which also has uh, asynchronous communications and forums with it. And uh, what I primarily used it for was for playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons for hundreds of hours during the pandemic lockdowns. I also have uh, an acquaintance who uses it for a regular poker game with distant friends. And it can be used for, for various kinds of things. It can be used, I know people who use it for instruction. I know these people who used it for working on uh, group projects. But it's, it's a really uh, very useful tool. And I want to show you just some of the things that make it um, useful in so many different contexts. So uh, what we've got uh, basically is it's got a combination, you, know, you can see over here, um, like there are text channels and there are also voice channels. And it's very easy to add a text channel or a voice channel. You just need to uh, press that plus button. And that really helps to uh, keep various things um, separate for you. So that um, if you have say, different parts of a project or a project with different parts uh, with uh, different subcomponents. You can have, uh, you can set up a different channel for each uh, component. You can also set up a kind of back channel for um, just regular conversation uh, to keep things casual. Um, and then you can attach files to, some, to a certain extent um, here in like in this, uh, this chat just by pressing a plus. Um, in terms of voice channels, one of the things that's nice is you can set up different kinds of group discussions. Um, and you can also have a general group discussion and then have a separate channel for one-on-ones, which is uh, also useful down here. But this is, um, that's something, uh, it, it should be notable that um, you can have Discord on a, a PC, like I've got it set up right here, or it can also be installed on mobile devices. So, and, so in, and you can have people who are collaborating um, through that kind of, cross-platform uh, conversation, uh, which might be useful depending on what kind of context people are in. They just have to download an app to their mobile device, which is the Discord app, or they can uh, join through their uh, web browser uh, on a computer like I'm, I'm doing here. Discord lets you do lots of different things. You can share your screen through Discord. You can uh, have a webcam or you can just use voice. Um, you can also uh, record uh, the sessions that you have, if you download uh, a plugin, there are various, and then enter certain kinds of commands. Uh, there are so many different kinds of uh, plugins and bots that will work in your own personal Discord server, depending on how you want to use it. If you want to have background music playing, you could set those up uh, pretty easily. Uh, but to me, and this is the thing that, that um, yeah, it's hard for me to demonstrate like in my current setup, but what is very useful about Discord is the ability to unmute yourself just by pressing a single button. And this works great for having large group chats. Like if you've got eight people on a chat and you want to have an actual kind of flowing conversation, that can be extremely difficult in something like Zoom. But in Discord, you can have yourself set to mute, but then unmute your audio just by pressing a single key. So usually the space bar is the default. And that way you just press the space bar, it unmutes you for just a few words. Um, and then people can hear what you have to say. And then you let go of the space bar and, and um, it, it stops uh, recording you. But that way you can have lots of people participating in a single chat. So I, I found it to be very useful for casual interactions. It's, it's uh, very naturally arranged. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, if you want to give this a try, I'm, I'm, it's very easy to set up. Um, just go to discord.com and get yourself an account and it'll, you'll have your own private server set up in no time. But if you want to find out more about uh, extending the features of it, talk to us in the CIP and we will help you do that. So happy Valentine's Day and happy Tech Tuesday to you.